So the Santa Claus is about a father who works for a toy store company and accidentally discovers Santa Claus on Christmas Eve, puts on the suit, and automatically becomes the man himself. Um, it's a classic 1994 film, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's from 1994. And um, I remember watching it as a kid. Probably the last time I might have been 10 years old. I don't remember watching this film for a very long time until I recently just watched it. By the way, I'm doing a 12 Days of Christmas movies, and I'm going to be reviewing uh, one for every 12 Days of Christmas, <laughs> and uh, they're going to be, some of them are going to be classics for sure, but I'm really also going to be focusing on obscure Christmas films, or even films that are Christmas films technically, but not necessarily the classic ones you would think about. I'm not doing Die Hard, I'm sorry. I love Die Hard, but Die Hard is not going to be mentioned in the 12 Days of Christmas. Although a lot of films that are kind of in that spectrum of, you know, technically Christmas, but everybody argues if they're Christmas or not. There's going to be a load of them in here. But starting off with one classic is going to be The Santa Claus, starring Tim Allen and... Uh, did I write that? Yes, Eric Lloyd. Eric Lloyd, uh, I remember him from uh, Dunstan Checks In, which is probably my favorite role that he's in. And then I remember him from uh, The Santa Claus. And the thing about The Santa Claus is when I watched it as a kid, I really didn't like it. Um, it I mean, I didn't. It was okay, but I didn't fall in love with it. I never... There was always other Christmas films that I always preferred and and the Santa Claus kind of took a back seat compared to all of those so I really enjoyed watching the Santa Claus again as an adult and especially from an adult's perspective because I really enjoyed this one a lot more and I remember the scenes when I watched it as a kid and and they came back to me and they still made me laugh but Back then, I was watching it completely from a child's perspective, and now I'm watching it completely from an adult's perspective. And there's a lot of things that happen throughout the film where the child, uh, the main character, like the star, the uh, Eric Lloyd's character, I forget his name in the movie, I'm sorry. Um, he, he's, you know, all the magic and all the Christmas stuff is, is real to him, but the adult perspective of things it's just you know the guy thinks he's hallucinating you know what I mean and um you know on Christmas Eve when the reindeer hop on the roof of his house and <laughs> he goes up to investigate he's just he's really calm for for you know a real life situation to happen where you have an entire sleigh and 12 reindeer or eight rain nine reindeer sorry on your house um, the way he acts is kind of kids movie-ish, but it's really funny. Like, everything plays amongst each other, and it's a really well-done film that blends uh, comedic aspects with dramatic aspects and adult perspectives with child perspectives, and I really like that a lot. Um, so, yeah, basically... Uh, the story starts where the mother is leaving the son to spend Christmas with uh, her father, or his, her father, his father, while uh, the mother is going to spend Christmas with her uh, her new uh, partner, and uh, which I, I I find that a little strange because I figured that she would want her son with her as well, you know, um, with the new family, but she um, decided to leave him, you know with his father, which is cool, and he's kind of, it's just, you know, uh, dad and son time, which is nice, and then uh, all this kerfuffle happens, and as soon as dad puts on the suit, he, you know, <laughs> he becomes Santa Claus, the reindeer start taking him all over um, the neighborhood, delivering presents and stuff like that, and, uh, and then he just starts getting bigger, and, uh, you know, like, bigger, and turning into the Santa Claus that we all know and we all love. Um, again, like I mentioned, it's really funny how they play the perspective where, you know, if you're watching it as a, in a kid's perspective, all the magic seems real, but 
in the adult perspective, it's like, man, what did I, what did I smoke today? <laughs> you know what I mean? And they, they play off that a lot. There's a lot of fart jokes in this movie. Uh, it's great. <laughs> They're just, um, one after the other. Uh, yeah, the, the, the fart humor and the toilet humor is pretty, uh, pretty, um, constant in here. There's also a little bit of, uh, clever humor, uh, used throughout the film where, you know, kids wouldn't get, obviously. There's one line that's one of my favorites. <laughs> he starts to fly or float or, like, the reindeer starts to take off. And the kid's like, Dad, you're flying. And the dad's like, flying? I lived through the 60s. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I love it. Um, I remember... I remember some really funny scenes, too, involving the reindeer when I was a kid. And the way the reindeer would communicate without talking, but they would just, like, nod and be like... The, the dad would be talking to the reindeer and the reindeer would be responding. That always, make me, that always made me laugh as a kid and it makes me laugh just as much uh, as an adult. And um, Bernard, if, if anybody's seen the film, everybody knows Bernard. Bernard's one of the best characters of the film. Uh, this one holds up. I really recommend the first Santa Claus. It comes, the three of them already in a pack and they're really not that expensive but rewatching the Santa Claus was a treat and I definitely recommend the Santa Claus for my uh well in general but for my first of my 12 days of Christmas uh it's a perfect one to start off with so definitely a good one check it out and Merry Christmas to everybody and I will be back with more reviews until next time have a good one cheers